Almost since the beginning of cityhood, annexation into the city of Santa Clarita has been a hot topic. For those located in the unincorporated areas of Los Angeles County that border the city of Santa Clarita, annexation brings several realities. Santa Clarita has successfully annexed 28 areas since 1987. Without exception, these annexations were all community driven, as are the handful of annexations currently in progress. Right now, there are a handful of annexations for communities bordering our city. They are currently in various stages. These include West Creek, Tesoro de Valle, Fair Oaks Ranch, and Hasley Canyon. These are all communities that have requested annexation to the city. In an effort to provide you with the latest information about each annexation, the city has created a special annexation webpage that will give you up-to-date progress of every annexation request. Check it out at santa-clarita.com. Economic development has been a key focus of the city of Santa Clarita during this recession. And I'm pleased to say that the 21-point business plan for progress has gone a long way towards helping local businesses. Since the adoption of the 21-point plan, more than 750 new, permanent, and high-paying jobs have been added to the city, with more to come. Increased marketing and outreach for our award-winning enterprise zone has paid off big time with more than 220 businesses participating in this lucrative state tax savings program. This has resulted in more than $83 million in tax savings to city-based businesses and the retention and creation of more than 2,200 jobs throughout the Enterprise Zone. Other work programs completed through the 21-point plan includes grants for small businesses in the New Hall redevelopment area, the creation of an easy-to-use permit center, the electronic submission of e-plans that require a permit, and the City Council's approval to defer the payment of some permit-related fees to encourage business growth. My heart goes out to those families and businesses who have struggled through the recession. As a high school principal and council member, I've heard many stories of frustration and hardship firsthand. I've also seen the amazing examples of resilience, persistence, and hope that are truly inspiring. I, along with the rest of the city council, our city staff, take the responsibility of providing stable and prudent decisions regarding your hard-earned tax dollars very seriously. That's why I'm very pleased to tell you that even in these difficult financial times, the city of Santa Clarita continues to operate with a $10 million reserve fund. This year, our city will continue to provide high levels of service to the community without cutting programs or services. Providing our residents with the services they need is a high priority for our city, but we're not stopping there. We're working hard to be creative and innovative and to build and develop programs and projects to help preserve and contribute to the high quality of life that makes Santa Clarita special. The city of Santa Clarita has experienced a nearly $14 million loss since 2007, which is roughly 15% decrease in a general fund over the last three years. Yet, the city recently just opened a brand new park in Canyon Country and completed the Cross Valley Connector. So why is Santa Clarita still operating in the black when so many are operating in the red? The city has been careful with money in good times, and that prudent fiscal planning is helping us now. Our capital improvement budget is $50 million this year. We've included over $8 million in road improvement projects, which helps keep drivers safe and our streets smooth and virtually pothole free. Also included in our capital improvement budget is $19 million for construction of the new and larger Old Town New Hall Library. One constant with Santa Clarita that I'm very proud of is the fact we always seem to find a way to get things done. When I talk to council members from other communities, they are regularly surprised at how Santa Clarita has managed to maintain its reserves without cutting services. Sometimes when I see council members throughout the state, it's embarrassing to tell them we just opened up the Cross Valley Connector, built a new park, and now are constructing a 29,000 square foot library? Come on! Lights, camera, action. Whether it's NCIS, filming a Kool-Aid commercial, Big Love or Wipeout, film and television production remains one of Santa Clarita's most successful industries. And thanks to the 21-point business plan, 
Our city was the first in Los Angeles area to offer production companies big savings on their location fees. The city's film incentive program has really been making an impact on our local economy and has helped 14 film productions save a collective $65,000 in permit fees. These productions make a big contribution to the $20 million in economic benefit our city sees from location filming. And more importantly, the city's film incentive program is a great complement to the state's film and tax credit program, encouraging productions to remain here in Los Angeles. Last year, there were 17 state approved film projects that filmed on location, and 14 of them filmed right here in our city. Santa Cruz's film incentive program was extended and now includes a new streamlined and more affordable process for working with the Sheriff's Department for location filming. Santa Clarita continues to be one of the most film friendly communities in Southern California and we're doing our part to ensure the industry stays right here for decades to come. Now that's a wrap.